Hi guys, Steve here. On this video, I want to show you how to tame a snow owl. I've already done a video on this where I use a bowler, but my devs thought that was too easy and changed it so you can't use a bowler. So the only way to really do it now is with a trap. First of all, you need to get yourself a bird. A pterodon, an RG, or a top of jar will be fine because you'll need to kite the owl into your trap. Next you need to find a nice space where there's loads of snow owls around you. There's some. They spawn all over this place. And an area that's fairly flat. I'm going to go here. Safe with no carnivores, wolves or anything running around. Right, let's begin. We'll start off by foundations. Uh, it doesn't really matter which direction, you can build it so the entrance is this way or that way. I might as well do it this way. I'm going to be building oops, two foundations next to each other. Now the longer you make it, the more chance you've got of getting out of it without the owl escaping. But obviously you'll need more resources. I think that will do for now. Next, we're going to put stone doorways. Four high. side. It's best if you bring everything with you. I'll be doing different versions of cages as well. Testing which one's the best one. Alright. Once you put them in, put the doors in. Doesn't have to be perfect, it's just a trap. Yeah, they look fine. jumping. You can get on your bird. Whoops. So I bring spares. Have you got enough space to land? There we go. That's our basic owl trap. From here, we're going to change it, experiment, find the best version. Right, what we have to do now is open the doors. If you want to, you can use wooden ramps. Close the doors, though. Wait, 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 let you place them. <laughs> It's the actual, these doors themselves, not the doorways that's blocking it. So if you want to do ramps, you can put them in before you put the doors in. Right, now there's two ways to do this. If you're by yourself, you can leave one door open, fly in, go to the top and the owl gets stuck. Or if you're with a partner, you grab the owl, fly through, and then just as you get there, clo get your partner to close the door and lock it in. Then run, get him to run round and close the other door and lock it inside. He's been flying.
<laughs> Awkward. The longer you make it, the less chance it has of escaping. I'm trying to do like a minimum short version here. Oh, it escaped. Alright, it's lost aggro. What you can do. Aggro again. I don't have a bird to look after. I can just walk in. Close the gate and just run outside. And from there to shoot it with trank darts or knock arrows. But for this demonstration. If you're by yourself and you made this short version, getting it out in there, closing the doors and getting out again without it escaping is a bit difficult. So what I'm going to do... ...is build a lip. That should be enough. Again, the doors are blocking being built. So put the doors on last. There we go, I've got four doors at the top, that's how I wanted it. Right, I've got an owl behind me. Flying. It follows. Gets caught on the lip. Trapped. Now, you know when you're trying to shoot it, and it flies up and down the cage, like so. It's a bit of a pain. You go one side, then it goes the other. What you can do next to improve the trap is get another dino gate. In fact, let's put the gun away. Put a dino gate about halfway. You can do multiple ones if you want. One should be enough. Put a door in. So when you kite it in, the door will be open. You've got it trapped. Close the middle dino gate. And now you've got a small area to shoot at. This one's been attacked. So it's probably going to die. We'll see you there. It's only low level, so I don't want to tame it anyway. So he's got less area to fly around in, so he's easier to shoot. Torpus who's trying to fly away. And a second, unless he's gonna die. There it goes. Down. I think it's got no health. Yep. <laughs> Thought so. Right. And that's a pretty darn good owl trap. If you're with somebody, or if you're solo. I didn't put a lip on this side in case you wanted to let the owl out. So I only really put the lip on one side. Right, as I was designing this trap on the fly with you guys just now, the order that I would build in is do the foundations first, then the stone doorways, put the ceiling on, then put the dino gates in without the doors. 
So you'd have your ceilings, and then you can build the lip down. That's two doors each side. One, two, one, two. Then put the doors in last because they obstruct your building things. Alright, let's open the trap. And we can do a solo tame. In fact, I'm going to kill this one. Don't need it. And that's the finished trap. So, we can close that. That's a way out. The way in is one with a lip. Keep the middle section open. The trap is reset. Let's go and get another arrow. And show you start to finish, bringing it in, closing the middle, and showing you work it perfectly. Right, we've got the owl. Coming into the front. Should have put the lip of something to be honest. Fly in. Line yourself up. The owl gets caught. Close the doors. Come buddy. Let's stop it flying up and down the cage. Close the middle gates. If you didn't have a middle section, it'd fly up and down, up and down, it'd be a bit hard to hit. Because you have the awesome Nooblets cage. It's as easy as that. <laughs> so devs, are you going to try and fix it so we can't tame it with cages anymore? Because I will overcome. Right. There's a few things you can feed it. You can kill mammoths and get prime meat. But I'll show you. All right, it. There are ovis on the map, but because there's so many wolves, they get killed really quickly. It's otherwise occupied of a manmogger. So you can feed it prime meat for, I'd say, a good tame. Lamb chops is better from Ovis, the sheep. Or you can feed it superior augmented kibble. Shotgun. You can kill it with whatever you want. If you've got a gun, you can shoot the mammoth. You can just peck it to death. Don't need a snow owl. Just getting it for a demo.
give it both kibble and prime meat at the same time. Go straight for the kibble. I'm on times for taming on this. Demonstration, doesn't matter if it's a low one, just quicker for to tame and you get to see it. Shadow. Gotta kill it out. Don't waste it. Whoop. <laughs> really? You come in now, are you? Let's put a low level owl in here. to play because I shall own you if you do right. don't know where it's gone to it was scared because I've got the dino gates so it was going to tame it if you want to see my video on how to tame a manamagura end as well. Right, we've got the owl. Now I'll go through the abilities in case you've not seen them. This is a low level one so it's not that great. Right, this, it's as you've seen it's fairly fast and it can keep up with an RG but it works the same as a griffin where you can dive down and speed up, speed your flight. Also you can dive bomb uses up stamina when you do all these by the way oh, that's not the best dive bomb it's a little bit of damage let's go a bit higher there we go dive there we go wasn't aiming at anything right next if you press C you get thermal vision so you see everything at night which is an awesome ability It'd be great for PvP and spotting the type of dinos you're after however it does use stamina as well so just need to get that back Then also, if you hold the right mouse button, you put your wings around you, it shields you in ice, heals you up, and if there's any creatures in front of you, let's demonstrate on this. Let's do it on that one. Let's wait for my stamina to come back. With all these different abilities, I would definitely spec into stamina. Stamina. There we go, you can do it in the air. As you can see it used my stamina up really quickly and it throws that animal for about three seconds. We can just walk up to it. Have a popsicle. It hasn't got a pickup ability. Not enough. 
found anyway. But yeah, that's how you tame a snow owl with an awesome taming cage. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified of when I upload next. There's links to my other videos at the end. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you again. Goodbye.